Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk a little bit more about repo operations conducted by the Federal Reserve. So the Fed uses something called repurchase agreements. Now these are also called repos or RPs, and they do this to make collateralized loans to primary dealers. Now the first thing you may be wondering is, what the heck is a primary dealer? A primary dealer is a bank or securities broker dealer that trades directly with the Federal Reserve. Now these primary dealers are required to make bids or offers when the Fed conducts open market operations. They provide information to the Fed's open market trading desk and they participate actively in U.S. Treasury security auctions. Primary dealers also consult with the U.S. Treasury and the Fed about funding the budget deficit and impl implementing monetary policy. These dealers purchase a vast majority of U.S. Treasury securities, which include things like Treasury bills, T-notes, T-bonds, which are sold at auction, and then they resell those to the public. And it's not just the treasury markets where these dealers function. The top 10 dealers in the foreign exchange market are also primary dealers. And between them, they account for almost 73% of the Forex trading volume, according to Wall Street Journal Europe. Now this group's members are among the most influential and powerful non-governmental institutions in the world's financial markets. Now the primary dealers are a form of a worldwide network that distributes new U.S. government debt. For example, Daiwa Securities and Mizuhu Securities distribute the debt to Japanese buyers. Uh, PNP Paribus Barclays, Deutsche Bank, and RBS Greenwich Capital distribute the debt to European buyers, and Goldman Sachs and Citigroup account for many of the American buyers. So that was a brief overview on primary dealers. Now getting back to the repo. In a repo, the Fed lends money to primary dealers. The typical term of these operations is overnight, but the Fed can conduct these operations with terms all the way out to 65 business days. The Fed uses repo operations to offset temporary swings in bank reserves. In the case of a repo, which we have seen this past week, it temporarily adds reserve balances to the banking system. Repos and reverse repos are conducted with primary dealers via auction. In a repo, dealers bid on borrowing money versus various types of general collateral, also called GC. The three types of general collateral that the Fed accepts are marketable U.S. Treasury securities, certain direct U.S. agency obligations, and certain agency pass-throughs, also known as mortgage-backed securities. Now, the New York Fed will actually credit the reserve account for the primary dealer. And thus, reserve balances are created. When the repo matures, the dealer returns the loan plus interest, and the Fed returns the collateral put up. Now this is just a brief overview of repo operations and of those primary dealers who trade directly with the Federal Reserve and are the ones actually bidding on these repo auctions. If you enjoyed this video or found any of this useful, please like and comment below. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time.